Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade uh, Big Box. Hit Parade Big Box Series 2, two boxes, random letter break number four. Now we're going by the first letter of their first name, so keep that in mind. So if we pull, um, I think it's all sports, but if there's a Robert De Niro, for example, it'll go to R, obviously. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar goes to K, so on and so forth. I've got a bunch of combo letters right here as well. So first letter of their first name on this one. Big thanks to all of these people right here. Thank you for getting in. There are the letters right here. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a four, five times for names and letters. One, two, three, four, and five. Got Robert down to Daniel here in break number four. These are our last two boxes of uh, Big Box, by the way, as well. So thanks, everybody, for, uh, for filling up all those breaks. All right, once again, one and a four, five times for the letters. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Four and a one. We got B down to E. All right, so Robert with B, Daniel with R, Mike with T, James with H, Daniel with K, Anthony with A, Robert with L, Jose with C, Robert with G, Jim, you got the combo letters right there, Monty with F, Jose with P, Robert with S, Jose with D, Robert with W, Jose with N, uh, James with M, Roger with J, and Daniel with E. Let's order these uh, alphabetically. And remember, once again, it's the first name, first letter. All right, any trades? We'll keep the video running. Let's see if there's any trades. Generally, there aren't in letter breaks like this. So the last two cases are 41 out of 50, and this one is one out of 50, hand number. All right, no trades, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Trade window closed, let's just, let's just roll. I'm very curious to see Type that into the chat, trade window closed. Very curious to see what is inside here. All right, so let's turn on my camera. All right, so let's pop open this first box here. Let's see what we got. Most of these hits will come in these little pouches right here. Let's put a couple pouches on our table here. There's five items per box. So here's another two pouches and then the tube, which is uh, which contains the photo. Um, Big Box 2 is is uploaded? I, for some reason, I didn't, I didn't see it. I, I saw 1 and 2. Maybe it is in the video list. Why is it not, why is it not posted? I don't know. Either way, it's there somewhere. Okay. See what the first thing is here. 
Ooh, we got a basketball jersey. It's an Adidas jersey as well. All right. Let's do a little quick round of who am I? Active basketball player, a shooting guard, 6'5", 201, out of Kansas, and was the seventh pick overall back in 2013. Who am I? I think this jersey is is for the team I'm currently on. No, but the team that I was drafted by. Uh, Eight-time All-Star, All-NBA first team, so on and so forth. A Rookie of the Year. I didn't realize I won, I won Rookie of the Year. Any guesses? We'll give you a clue. Number 16, Kings jersey. So he's with the Grizzlies now. And this will go to, let's see if we keep track of this. No, not Damian Lillard. Not Stojakovic. This guy ha actually has a pretty good, pretty good resume. Not Cousins, Nelson. It's Ben McLemore. So there's the Ben McLemore Certificate of Authenticity. He's got his own, own authentication right here. Yeah, Joe Christian's got it. So there's his autograph right there. All right, you got a little, what is that, Flight 16? Got his inscription right there. There's Macklemore. There's his Kings jersey right here. Yeah, according to Wikipedia, NBA Rookie of the Year in 2014. Nice. I, I love all the always, always having these these officially licensed jerseys are really sharp. So letter B, that is um, letter B, that is Robert. There you go, Robert. Yeah, well, I guess technically 2013 draft, but you win the Rookie of the Year in 2014. It's a little, that's a little tricky. Should be, should be. Drafted in 2013, won the Rookie of the Year in the 2013-14 season. All right, we've got another jersey here. We've got the name here. All right, it's a custom jersey. All right, so I am an active running back in the NFL, 5'10", 215, uh, picked in the late first round of this year's draft. So think about running backs drafted in the first round. This, is, this should be pretty easy. Late first round this year, reunited with my uh, teammate. Yep, Etienne. Wait, Ben McElmore never, never won it. I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm going off of Wikipedia right here. It says NBA Rookie of the Year.
Then what did he win? Oh, so that that might that might be a. Yeah, I didn't. Th that kind of took me off guard too. All right, so someone fix that on Wikipedia. Sorry, I was just going off of Wikipedia. Anyway, Travis Etienne is the correct answer. There's the JSA card here. There's the JSA sticker there. It's a custom jersey, so I'm just going to leave it inside. There's his autograph. We got an inscription, too. This could, this could be a pretty intriguing player. Mike Tower with T. Because I think they're lining him up at like wide receiver. So we're gonna try to try to use him there as a slot receiver, maybe. And out of the backfield. Ooh, we have an autographed football. An autographed gold football here. What is this about? So is, is some like Ben McLemore stand like adding? It's kind of wild. Maybe they're just adding like false stats to his Wikipedia. Someone, someone alert Woj on this. All right. Correct, Joe Christian. This is the egg from Willy Wonka. This is true. All right. Who am I? I'm an active quarterback. In the uh, the NFL, obviously, <laughs> would not be from any other football. Not from not from like NFL Europe or anything like that. Not in the XFL. Active quarterback in the NFL. Played for two teams my entire career. I was a according to Wikipedia, I was a I was a NFL passing yards leader, a Pro Bowler, part of the PFWA All Rookie Team, a national champion, a Heisman Trophy Award winner. A lot of accolades here. Walter Camp Award, Manning Award, Davey O'Brien Award, whatever those awards are. AP College Player of the Year, Sporting News College Player of the Year, ACC Athlete of the Year, Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year, so on and so forth. I've got a career 121 touchdowns to my 88 interceptions, 19,000 passing yards. And I was the first overall pick out of Florida State. Who am I? I also had a very interesting season <laughs> where, where I threw for 33 touchdowns, but also threw 30 interceptions. <laughs> right. Which is kind of amazing that you're allowed to throw that many interceptions because that means they... they they kept him in the game. Yeah, Brian's got it. Jameis Winston. Brett's got it too. This is a cool looking, cool looking uh, football right here. So there's his autograph. I guess there's only 25 of them made. This is a, a kind of a cool, a leatherhead football you hold in your hand. A bench-made leatherhead sporting ball, individually crafted in a small American workshop. So on and so forth. That's pretty awesome. And you've got an upper deck uh, authentication card in there as well. Yeah, I guess it is a golden goose football. <laughs> Not too far off from the Willy Wonka reference there. All right, so Jay, Jameis Winston, who might, 
He probably is the starting quarterback for the Saints now. All right, so that's Roger with the J with letter J, Jameis Winston. All right, the fourth item here is oh, is a is a cleat, is a shoe, sneaker. Yeah, it's a shoe. That's pretty cool. What's up, Teddy? Nice. That's pretty awesome. What size is that? Like Twelve. I don't know. Do you think you could fit it? You could fit in here? All right, let's see. The That's name, really nice, actually. The name tag here. All right. Uh -huh. All right, let's go, let's go to Wikipedia again. Who am I? Yeah, it's a, nice, a very nice shoe here. I'm not, I'm not a sneakerhead by any means, but... It's a, it's a cool looking shoe. All right. Quick round of who am I? I'm a center, active center in the NBA. Played for one team my entire career. Drafted in 2015, 11th overall. If you can think about, think back to 2015, your 11th overall pick. 6'11, 250. NBA, according to Wikipedia, NBA all rookie second team. Two time blocks leader. Uh, third team all Big 12. Back in the day, I went to Texas. Big 12 Freshman of the Year, McDonald's All-American, First Team, Parade All-American. So yeah, went to, went to Texas. Twenty yeah, 2015. PJ. Just once is fine, Nelson, but he's excited. It is Miles Turner. There you go. Just once is fine, Nelson. There it is. Miles Turner, number 33. Pretty cool sneaker here, too. That's awesome. And you got the, uh, the David Adams Certificate of Authenticity in here as well. All right. Pretty brand new. What size is this? That's a good question. Let's see, I don't know where the uh... out oh, there is off to the side. I don't think it's Miles Turner's size. <laughs> this is a US thirteen, a Nike thirteen. Pretty sure 611 250 Miles Turner has a shoe size a little bit larger than uh, than 13. All right, so that goes to James Majority with the Miles Turner autoed sneaker. Yeah, no, it's it's not his size. I think I think they just bought a bunch of shoes and then just said, "Hey, Miles Turner, can you sign these?" Oh, oh, and there is the fifth item right here. Oh, there's the name all the way down the bottom. Ooh, it's a nice name here. All right, this is going to be easy. And then we got one more box of this as well. Who am I? I'm a retired closer. Played for one team my entire career, 13-time All-Star, five-time World Series champ, a World Series MVP, an ALCS MVP, a five-time AL Rolaids Relief Man Award, and a 100% Hall of Famer. Got 100% of the ballots. Yeah, that's, this, is, this is easy. Joe Christian's got it right away. Mariano Rivera. Well, if it was a game-worn shoe, Nelson, it'd be 
be, it'd be a lot more, this product would be a lot more expensive. So this, this, is, this is really cool. I mean, he's got excellent penmanship right here. There's all the MLB hologram sticker and everything. What's what's he what's happening here? Is he Is he getting taken out of the game? It looks like he's giving up the baseball. What's happening here? What's the story? You got the fanatic sticker on the corner right there as well. Little uh little ding in the corner there, but if you frame this up. Oh, is this his final time pitching? There you go. Jens and Joe, there you go. Nice, good call. Thanks. All right. So that's another le letter M. Mark this tube. All right, nice Mariano Rivera right there. Excellent. So that's another one for the letter M. Um, James had the Miles Turner autograph sneaker and back to back hits. Empty box right here. But wait, there's more, a second box. like something different too. There's the photo. There's another two right here. These feel like jerseys. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Another empty box right there. All right, let's see what we got. name here. All right, we've got a NBA officially licensed jersey. All right, so according to Wikipedia, I'm a retired basketball player. Played for two teams my entire career. I was an NBA champion in 1971, an NBA Most Valuable Player in 1964, a 12-time NBA All-Star, an NBA Rookie of the Year in 1961. Who am I? I played for the Cincinnati Royals and the Milwaukee Bucks. I was also a six-time NBA Assists Leader are the NBA 35th anniversary team, 50th anniversary team. I went to college in Cincinnati. Yep, Brian and Jens has got it. Oscar Robertson. That's a, this is a cool jersey too. Nice. Big bold autograph from Oscar. So it's a nice Mitchell and Ness jersey right here. Oscar Robertson, let's take a look at this jersey.
Nice. Nothing on the back, except for the uh, the Mitchell and Ness logo at the collar, but very cool. And I'll fold this up nicely when the break is over. All right, yeah, the old school Bucks jerseys are also really cool. Letter O, that's Jim Murray. With the Oscar Robertson autoed jersey. It's part of the uh, combo letters. So the combo doing work. All right, here's another one here. This is a custom NHL jersey. I'm not. <laughs> How many people know their know their NHL uh, trivia? I certainly don't. All right, I am a. I'm a retired. Well, no, I I passed away in 2017. Let's see. So I was born in 1924 in Saskatchewan, Canada, passed away in 2017, a, a Hockey Hall of Famer, a goaltender, a lefty goaltender for the Rangers and the Maple Leafs back in the, uh, and in my playing career between 1945 and 1969. So think about your old Rangers, Maple Leafs goaltenders. Anyone familiar with uh, Johnny Bauer? Yeah, he's got the Hall of Fame inscription, 1976. Right, not retired, no longer with us as well. He has, he has shed this mortal coil. So he passed away in 2017, so this is kind of a, it's an older autograph here from the Dave and Adams archives, it looks like. It's a custom jersey, so Probably won't have any of the logos or anything like that, but we got the uh, colors here. We'll just leave it here. Probably Maple Leafs colors? These were the Rangers and Maple Leafs. All right, so letter J, Roger, who had the Jameis Winston football, now has the uh, autographed NHL jersey, Johnny Bauer. Nice. this thing here. Is this a basketball, a soccer ball? Oh, I see the player name right here. Okay. It's a basketball. All right, who am I? I'm an active point guard in the National Basketball Association. 6'3", 210 point guard, played for two teams my entire career, five-time NBA All-Star, All-NBA third team, NBA All-Defensive second team, All-Rookie first team, Slam Dunk Contest champion in 2014, if you think back to your Slam Dunk Contest in 2014. I was a Consensus All-American and SEC Player of the Year. and a former number one overall pick. Who am I? No, not Larry Bird, not Chris Paul, not Kyle Lowry, not D Brown. B-Man, what's going on? Number one overall pick back in 2010 by the Washington Wizards. but I play with the Rockets now. And I went to Kentucky. There you go. Nice one, Brian. Brian's got it. And Justin's got it. John Wall. All right. We wrap this up in some brown paper here. Let's try to preserve as much of this brown paper as possible.
Uh, oh, they deflated the basketball too. Where's your autograph? There's the JSA sticker right there. The card is inside the bag as well. There it is. Nice one. So that's another letter J. So that's three J's for Roger. That's awesome. James Winston, Johnny Bauer, and then now a John Wall autograph basketball. That's pretty cool. Scoot this out of the way. And let's do the photo. And then I, this felt like a glove. Is that a boxing glove? I don't know what that is. It just felt, it feels different from the, from the other one. Oh, maybe the name's on here. Oh, okay. All right, all right. All right, who am I? I'm a retired quarterback standing uh, in my playing days, standing at 6'4", 240. A number one overall pick. Played for one team my entire career. Four-time Pro Bowler, an NFL Comeback Player of the Year award winner. An NFL Passing Touchdowns leader, a Johnny Unite's Golden Arm Award winner, Maxwell Walter Camp Award, a two-time Heisman Trophy finalist. Two-time Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year. A two-time first-team All-American, two-time first-team All-Pac-12. 171 touchdowns in my career, 83 interceptions, 23,000, over 23,000 passing yards. 60, almost 1,600 rushing yards, too. Not Peyton, not Troy, not Unitas, not Bradshaw. There you go. Mitchell's got it. Andrew Luck. It's a, this is a cool photo right here of Andrew Luck. You can see the, the number inscription right there, plus all the... And a big, bold autograph right there, too. Andrew Luck, right across the corner of that photo. That's really awesome. Kind of a look at that. His big arm. Look at that that look on his face. Got the NFL shield right there as well. That's that's a great photo. He's got a great autograph as well. That's you know, you know, one thing unique about this that I haven't noticed in a lot of other sets that feature photos like this is that there's, um, just carefully roll this up here. There's a lot of unique photography right here. Yeah, Katie likes it. What a great picture, right, Katie? All right. So we got the Andrew Luck photo. That would that that'll look great in a uh, that'll look great in a frame for sure. Letter A, Anthony with A gets the Andrew Luck autoed photo. All right, and the final one here. It is a boxing glove. All right, so who are you?
Any guesses here? Oh, I see the autograph now. There you go, Joe and Sean's got it. George Foreman, that's a cool boxing glove here. There's his auto. There's his authentication sticker. There's the uh, retail tag on the glove itself. It's a guarantee. There he is. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, the grill, grill master. Although I want to say that I read somewhere that that maybe, uh, and by the way, G, George Foreman is Robert Flores with that one. No, no, no coupon for a grill. I want to say that um, that I, I want to say that he, there was a story where he said he's never even seen it or used it or whatever. They're just like, hey, do you want to put your name on this? And he said, yeah, sure. Like it wasn't really like a, a thing that he like really invested in. It was just like, you want to do this? And he's like, yeah, all right. And then it blew up. So pretty awesome. George Foreman. And that was uh, Big Box Break number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I think that, that was it, right? All, I got all five items right here. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.